What is up everyone? Today I'm going to be running through my method for doing quick sketch in graphite that includes values and some shading, some shadows, but still trying to keep it quick. This year I'm focusing on picking up the pace, increasing my speed, and so here is my method that I have been using lately to do the copy of these artworks that I like. First of all, we begin by setting down straight lines. This helps me basically position the image on the page and get some semblance of accuracy. Just because I am going fast doesn't mean that I want to rush and just disregard accuracy at all. So the first step, setting down the lines, which gives me a sense of accuracy. After that, I'm going to be jumping into some shapes, trying not to get too detailed with the shapes, very simple shapes, outlining some of the big proportions of the image. After that, I'm going to be jumping into values, putting down some tone, and then once that is all done, getting into details and having some fun times because everybody love, loves details, right? So what I'll be using today is uh, my HB pencil as well as I have one here with loaded with a 3B lead. And for helping with the shading and values, I'm gonna be pulling in a tissue paper today. Um, I found that it's, for me, I've found it a little bit more consistent than using the uh, paper stub. Some people may argue, I'll be going back and forth and seeing which one I like, but I tried out the tissue paper and it, it worked fine, so I'm, I'm using it for now. Um, so yeah, we're gonna jump into this. As you see, I've set out the area here. Hopefully I can stay inside this area. We will see, but I've set out a smaller area and yes, size does matter. Fortunately, in this case, smaller is better when you're looking for speed. We don't want to spend too much time here. And yeah, let's jump into this, starting with the lines, and let's see, let's see how this goes. Okay, so that took about five minutes to get the basic line in, lines in and get the image uh, roughly li laid out on the paper. If you've noticed, we aren't using any erasers here because if speed we're looking for, we don't have time to be correcting every single mistake. And as you will see, most of these lines that are scratchy are going to disappear in the end. So you don't have to get too caught up in the perfection of doing a sketch, all right? So the next step, we're going to be jumping into laying out some of the basic shapes, uh, fleshing this out just a little bit more and seeing how things line up before we jump into values. So let's do that. Okay, so that was about 15 minutes and we got all of our basic shapes and placements all set out. So now I'm gonna be jumping into adding some value to this and then I can't wait till I get to the fun part which is really adding in the details. Everybody loves details. But first, let's get to adding in some values. For this, I'm going to pull out my 3B softer pencil and and get to some shading let's do it
Okay, so that took about nine minutes to lay down some of the basic values. And now, definitely for the longest part of this, and probably because I enjoy it the most, I'm going to be starting to dive into details. And uh, one of the things I want to keep in mind here is what I learned on the portrait drawing uh, challenge that I did where I was doing the 10 minute portraits, a hundred of them. One of the thing I, things I really want to focus on here is keeping my speed up as I draw in these details because I think that's gonna make the lines a lot more lively and make sure they come to life. As I add in details, I'll be adding in additional shadow as well. And you may see me pulling out the uh, tissue paper every now and again to uh, just solidify some of those shadows and shapes. So let's dive into some details here and enjoy this process. Okay, so that took about 25 minutes to get those details in and some additional shadow mapping. And because I like this stage so much, I'm gonna go a little bit harder here, push the values a little bit more, and uh, yeah, just have some more fun here. And basically, I'm free to stop whenever I want to now because I have really captured the essence of this uh, photo, this picture, this piece of art by Frank Fazetta, and yeah, from now on, it's, hey, how much time do I want to spend on this, and hey, just have fun with it, and again, as I normally say, the most important part is having fun, and yeah, that's what I'm going to do, so let's jump into some more, some more work on this. So all in all, this took about an hour and a half to complete from start to finish, working from very basic, big shapes down to the details. It's a very good method that I have found to do these quick sketch drawings of famous pieces that I like. This one, uh, Frank Fazetta, Bucking Bronco. And so again, if you stuck through the video this far, consider joining me on my journey and let's learn and enjoy this process together. Thanks, see you in the next video.